Are you wondering how to create a broken chord? Today, let's explore broken chords with Josh Groban's beautiful arrangement of Impossible Dream. We'll look at some easy ways to play along with his accompaniment and his amazing voice on YouTube. So jump on your piano, turn on your keyboard and play along with me now. Hi there, I'm Kylie and we love to share easy tips and tricks to inspire students to learn the love of music here at our music studios. Please subscribe if you enjoy the content and a thumbs up is the best compliment you can give. So I've just grabbed a chord chart online. I googled ultimateguitar.com and then typed in Impossible Dream and clicked on Josh Groban. Ultimate Guitar do have transpose function, but this version was already in the right key of B major, so I didn't have to fiddle around too much. Now let's break down this progression for the intro. So our first chords start on B, so play the bass note skip up, skip up in our left hand. And our right hand is going to wait for a beat before it comes in. Before we go to the D sharp minor. So once again, the left hand has the bass note of the D sharp, skip up, skip up. Let's play that through. Let's move on to the verse now. We can block the chords or just play the bass note very simply at first. Start with our left hand on each chord name as the bass and skip up, skip up, and then play them all down at the same time. Each chord is going to hold for four counts until the very last F sharp. We start on B, so we'll do the B, skip up, skip up, and then to the D sharp minor, we do that four times, and then on to E, C sharp minor then, then to D sharp minor again. Then for the next chord, we only have our E that we play for three beats. After our three beats, we'll slip in a D sharp bass, or we could do the three little notes of the B chord flipped around. Then we have C sharp minor next. Then here is where our two counts change for F sharp suspended. We hold those for two, then we do an F sharp, skip up, skip up, hold for two as well. Keep doing that version until you're super comfy with the changes. Then when you're ready to make it harder, we can ripple up the six notes twice. Or we can copy Josh's version that skips up and down the notes between the hands. I'll show you that. eight or nine chord changes with the verse material will all need to be run through twice to match Josh Groban's version that I'll link to below. Then let's move right along to the chorus. And once again, you might like to keep flipping things around, moving high, moving low, or just play the bass note. But I'll demo now by just showing the ripples going up twice through each chord in both hands. So we start with the B and we have four little ripples on those again, two in each hand. Then up to the G sharp minor. Um, you could go up or down for any of these. And then back to the D sharp minor again, four counts. Then on to E for four counts. Then G sharp minor for four. And then slipping down to the G for another four. Then we only have two on the B.
then onto kind of our bridgey section, we'll then have C sharp minor for four and A for four. D sharp major for four. This was slightly different to ultimate guitar, but um, I can hear them go to a major there. So just look out for that one, D sharp major. Then we have E for four and then A for four and then D sharp major again for four. And here he takes quite a rest as well. So wait until he then goes and the world and we go back to verse material again on the world. So we go back to the B chord on the world. Ready, play. And now let's block out some chords for a big ending. And that's the end of our last verse with all the unreachables. So let's just go over those again. flow straight into an instrumental. And then we've got kind of our little coda of the last bit of material for lots of three notes and little broken chords. And I always dream is the B for four, D sharp minor for four, and then G sharp minor. Play six little notes. The last little E chord, just play six notes and then hold, hold, hold until then he sings star and we come in after that with our little outro. So same in same material that we use at the start for our intro comes in again for the ending and then we end with a b chord let's give it a go ready play Well, thanks so much for joining me today and staying to the end. Please subscribe if you haven't already, as this will really help me out and happy music making. Bye.